Hey there everyone, my name is Chris, welcome back. Today we're going to be taking a look at the KWA LM4. Now I did a review on the complete stock rifle, or an unboxing at least, quite a while ago now, it was pretty much about a year ago. I'll put a link straight in the middle here to that review. Now, I spent quite a lot of time acquiring all the parts that I put onto the gun and uh, put a fair bit of work into it, so we're going to run through that now. Um, I think the LM4, as, as far as gas blowback, Airsoft AR-15s go is, is probably the best platform, hence why I put quite a lot of uh, effort and time and money and stuff into uh, into working on this rifle. So I've split it down just to make things a little bit easier to see, and uh, I'll have this video on the lower receiver and all these parts, and then I'll do another one on the upper receiver. So to start off, what's changed? Obvious one is the stock, real easy choice, Magpul CTR. You know, I think uh, I think everyone probably knows why this stock is so good. Having that having that friction lock on there really locks it down onto your buffer tube. Nice, comfortable rubber pad for shouldering. QD swivels, easy to adjust. Obviously, the actual polymer itself is incredibly strong and resilient. Uh, the Rolls Royce of stocks, as far as I'm concerned, at least for you know for the AR15 platform. Buffer tube, Carlson nut, both stock, do the job just fine. Had to remove the buffer tube to fit this ASAP mount. This is a, a PTS one, unfortunately, it's no longer in production. This is actually a universal one for all WA, WE, and KWA gas blowback rifles. I think uh, for attaching a one point sling, the ASAP is, is really the way to go. Being able to switch shoulders so quickly with the the way the, the actual sling attachment can flick underneath there. Really excellent functionality. Another big uh, and pretty obvious change is the pistol grip. This is the BCM Gunfighter. I think this is the Mod 1. The great thing about this is the actual the angle of it. Most AR-15 grips are more sort of like out that sort of an angle. They, they've straightened it up with the BCM and that just makes holding the rifle for extended periods either in the aim or in your workspace uh, that much more comfortable. It comes with it comes with two customizable sections for this this little piece here. One straight flat, this one you see I feel it covers that um, that classic little gap you get with AR15 trigger guards where your middle finger will get pinched up in the, the little gap that's under there and becomes quite uncomfortable after a while so I fitted this extended section here and it covers that up just makes the gun a lot more comfortable also got a storage compartment in the in here I wouldn't say it's waterproof but it's water resistant in this case I've got my KWA hop adjustment tool stored away nicely in there and it um, doesn't rattle around just putting it in that little plastic bag Stop trigger guard, stop trigger, all these lower internals are fine, um, just stop from the factory. But to be honest, the KWA parts they put in there are really good, you know, steel, you've got a roller bearing on the hammer, helps reduce wear, uh, and it's just very nicely put together. Magazine catch, etc., all stock. Selectors are something I've changed. Michael PTS, sadly, no longer in production, but really positive click in all the different positions functions exactly like your standard selectors except it's just that bit more easy to uh, easy to manipulate and of course it's double sided ambidextrous and what they've done is it might be hard to tell but you can tell this one stops just at the top of the pistol grip there whereas on the left hand side it's a bit longer because generally you're going to be holding a weapon like that if this side was longer it's going to hit that that knuckle on your index finger there but really great selectors now one thing i'm i've sort of part way through doing haven't got around to yet is fitting a bad lever as you can see this uh, this rear face of the bolt catch there has been dremeled down because uh, it's not the same actual size and spec as a real ping pong paddle as they call it so it's had to it's had some work it still needs more before I'll actually be able to get the bad lever to fit it needs more grinding down but it'll get there eventually 
lower receiver itself, as you can see, totally stock. Same with the uh, with the receiver pins, but they they're actually really well made. Buffer and buffer spring stock because they just work so well, and uh, and the gun functions really well with with those stock parts. So uh, you know, I, my motto is generally with these sort of weapons: is uh, if it's not broke, uh, don't fix it. At least um, you know, be be careful what you what you play around with because uh, quite often people upgrade things and they just they just end up making them worse. So I've changed the parts that are sort of affect the ergonomics and the uh, the function of the rifle, but how how it actually works on the inside, I have uh, I've left well alone. So. Yeah, that is the lower receiver on, on this LM4 professional training rifle from KWA. Really nicely made gun, shoots really well. Uh, I'll use it in a couple of games and this setup works really well for me. If you'd like to keep uh, up to date on the uploads on the channel and similar content, I've got a Facebook page linked to it. I will put a link in the description box below. Thanks to all the subscribers, uh, everyone thumbs up the video, all that good stuff, it's much appreciated. And uh, I'll see you next time, guys.